You stop the press. I remember we, uh, so what year would it have been Uncle Mo made his first start in 2010. 2010. Yep. And we ran against him with a horse by the name Somebody. of King Kanji. We bought from our boy, uh, our boy JJ Krupe. And, and we ranged up to him. I, I saw the, saw the video not too long ago. They were, they were hyping Uncle Mo. But we ranged up to him. I said, man, we're, we're going to run well. And Uncle Mo just, you know, he turned for home. And I, I tell you, I still think about it. He put on a move <laughs> like you've never seen. And he won by eight or ten under wraps. I said, boy, that, is a, that could be a very special horse. And he's turned out to be a heck of a stallion. And, uh, and there are a lot of them that are plain brown wrappers. Eddie, is that your... You're, you're, you take a lot of, like, there's not a lot of chrome on them. No, that's the way they have to be. Any of them other things that come out with a bit of flash on them have never any good. Yeah. And they're all, the, the good Uncle Mo's have a similar shape and a similar hip, and just that, as you say, in that plain color. Yeah. And that's, the, that's the, the good ones are all that way. So he presented himself, you know, well up at Saratoga and, You know, when you look at a program like like uh, Jane Lyon, like she just wants to to breed graded stakes winners, right? And she's not hustled by the market. You know, she'll keep a horse if, if they don't think a horse is ready to go to a yearling sale, uh, and th they don't really go to the two-year-old sale. So, and they run, so it's good. You know, you have a, a lot of confidence. They they like to sell, but but they don't press. On like some other operations do that are purely commercial so there's a com commercial element to our operation but there's also a racing element I think in a lot of respects that's a positive for an end user for a prospective buyer and she doesn't get you know oftentimes oh that's good that's good oftentimes you'll you'll get those 